Good day, dear students. Let us continue to learn more about similarities. And for today, we will be discussing the different similarity theorems. But before we proceed on that, let us have a short review on the different congruence theorem. So what again are the different triangle congruence theorem? Yes, we have the SSS, we have the ASA, we have SAS, and also we have the AAS or the SAA. Now, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng mga triangle congruence na ito ulit? When we have the SSS or the side, 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 we have here if the three sides of one triangle is congruent to the three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are said to be congruent. And also, when we have the SAS, SAS means side, angle, side, it means that if the two sides and the included angle of one triangle is congruent to the corresponding sides and angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent by SAS congruence theorem. We also have the ASA. The angle side angle, it states that if the two angles and the included side of one triangle is congruent to the corresponding angles and side of another triangle, then the two triangles are said to be congruent. And then lastly, we have the AAS or the SAA, angle angle side, it states that if the two Angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding angles and side of another triangle. Then the triangles are said to be congruent. So now, let us discuss the different triangle similarity theorems. Let us begin with number one. We have the angle-angle or the AA similarity theorem. It states that two triangles are similar if they have two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent. So if two angles of one triangle is congruent to the corresponding angle of another triangle, then we can say that the two triangles are similar. So angle A here. Here corresponds to angle Q and based on the markings, they are congruent. And also, we have angle M and we also have angle T. So, we have two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent. So, by AA similarity, we can say that triangle AJM is similar to triangle UOT. So, we have triangle AJM is similar to triangle UOT. That is AA similarity theorem. Next, we have number two. We have the SSS similarity theorem. In here, what does SSS means? If the two triangles have proportional sides, then the triangle are similar. So, if the corresponding sides of two triangles has equal ratio or proportional, then we can say that the triangles are actually are actually similar. So in here we have FL that is or it corresponds to HI. FL is fifteen and then H HI is 30. So 15 over 30, the ratio is 1 over 2. Another corresponding sides we have LO. LO is 20 and then IT is 40. And if we get the ratio, it is also 1 over 2. And then the last one is that FO. FO is 25. And then HT is 50. And the ratio again is 1 half. So if you are going to notice, the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. So by this, we can say that the two triangles, we have triangle FLO, triangle FLO is similar to triangle HIT. And this is by SSS similarity theorem. And then the last one, number three, we have the side angle side or the SAS. Side angle side similarity theorem states that 
if two sides of one triangle are proportional to the corresponding side of another triangle and their corresponding included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So, sa SAS, yung daw dalawang side na corresponding ay proportional. Tapos, yung kanilang included angle must be congruent. Just like in here. So, we have AR and we have ME. So, we have 17 over 51. And then, the other one, we have AP. That is 37 over MO is 111. If we are going to multiply these two, we will be having the same answer. Now, let us prove that they are proportional by using cross-multiplication property. So, if we multiply 17 by 111, the answer is... It is 1,887. And also, if you multiply 51 and 37, you are going to have 1,887 as well. So, this proves that the corresponding sides are actually proportional. And their included angle, the included angle of AR and AP is angle A. And the included angle of ME and OMO is angle M. And as you can see, parehong ang measure nila is 47 degrees. So, yung ating sides, sa corresponding side are proportional, tapos yung kanilang mga included angle ay congruent. If that is the case, then we can say that triangle RAP is congruent to triangle EMO. So, triangle RAP is not congruent. Sorry, it is not congruent rather than it is similar. So, triangle RAP is similar to triangle EMO. Paano natin nasabi? That is by SAS Similarity Theorem. I hope you get the three theorems. Now, let us tell whether the triangles are similar or not. If it is similar, let us state the theorem that will justify the similarity of the two triangles. So, let us have the following. The first one, are the two triangles similar? If we are going to flip this triangle, you are going to notice that BA will correspond to ZX. So, BA will correspond to ZX. And if we get the ratio, that is 15 over 10. Or, this can be 3 over 2. And also, BC, on the other hand, will correspond to CY, wherein BC is 36 and then ZY is 24. This is divisible by 12. So again, it can be expressed as 3 over 2. So the two corresponding sides are actually proportional. Now, are the included angles congruent? Yes, parehong may foot or perpendicular, meaning to say the included angle of the two sides are both 90 degrees, so equal yan. So we can say that the triangles, we have triangle ABC is actually, actually similar to triangle, we have XZY. By what theorem? Yes, by SAS similarity theorem. The two sides are proportional and their included angle are congruent. Let's have the next one. If we have this figure, are the two triangles similar? Let us see. Are they similar? If yes, what theorem will justify the similarity? Given are the sides, so let us look at the ratio. We have 10 and 15, 10 and 15, that can be expressed as 2 over 3. We can also have this one. We have 8 and 12 divisible by 4. So, it can also be expressed as 2 over 3. And then we have AB and 18. 12 over 18. What is their greatest common factor? Yes, that is 6. Ano? So, we have 6, 12 divided by 6 is 2 and 18 divided by 6 is 3. So, we can say that the two triangles are similar. We have triangle ABC is similar to triangle. D, E, F. By what theorem? Yes, by SSS similarity theorem because the three corresponding sides of the two triangles are proportional. I hope you get it. 
Now, let us have another activity. Given the triangle ABC and LMN, so let us have two triangle. Wow, given the information that you are going to be provided, you are going to identify if the triangles are similar. So let us have the information given. So number one, angle A is congruent to angle L and then angle C is congruent to angle N. Can we say that the triangles are congruent? Base sa pangalan. So we have A corresponds to L and then they are are congruent according to this statement. And also, angle C corresponds to angle N. And based on here, the corresponding angles are also congruent. Now, is this information enough for you to say that the triangles are similar? Okay, yes. The two triangles are similar. Triangle ABC is similar. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle LMN. By what theorem? Yes, we have by AA similarity theorem. Let us have number two. We have the ratio of AB to LM. Titingnan lang natin if they are corresponding sides. Ano is AB corresponding to LM? Yes, are they corresponding sides? Yes, AB and LM are corresponding. And then according here, the ratio is equal to the another correspond ay to the sides. Let us see if they are corresponding. So BC corresponds to MN, yes. So again, their ratio is equal. And then lastly, we have AC. Let us have this side, AC. Corresponding side ba niya si LN? Yes, they are corresponding sides. Based on here, the three corresponding sides of the two triangles are proportional. Is that enough for you, for you to say that the triangles are similar? Yes, the two triangles, we have triangle ABC again, is similar to triangle LMN. By what? Yes, by SSS similarity theorem. And then lastly, we have AB to LM and then BC to MN. Yung ratio daw ng AB and BC, AB to LM is equal to the ratio of BC to MN. And then another one is angle A congruent to angle L. So we have two sides here and then one angle. So pwede siyang SAS. But in SAS, the angle must be included angle. So if we are going to illustrate the figure suppose this is your abc let's have another triangle we have lmn so we have l m n so ang ratio daw ng ab to lm ab to lm yes ayan corresponding and then bc to mn bc to mn ayan they are also proportional so let us have mn bc to mn okay so we have bc to mn Okay, so we have BC to MN, therefore, ito dapat ang may markings. So we have BC to MN, they are also proportional, they are equal in ratio. And then angle A is congruent to angle L. Angle A is congruent to angle L. So ganyan ang ating markings based on the given. Can we say that the two triangles are similar? Okay, no. We cannot say that the two triangles are similar. Bakit? Because the congruent angles is non-included angle. For us to say that they are similar by SAS, by ASA, SAS, the angle must be included. And the included angle of the mark sides here are actually angle B and angle M. E eh dahil hindi siya included angle, so hindi natin pwedeng sabihin that the triangles are similar. So no, the triangles are not similar. So again, the three triangle similarity theorems are number one, we have the AA similarity. Number two, we have the SAS, the angle must be Included angle, the two sides must be proportional to the corresponding sides. And then SSS, the three corresponding sides of the triangles, the two triangles must be proportional. So, this is all about the triangle similarity theorems. Thank you for watching.